Hi everyone. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how we can use electromagnets. But what I first want to do is to have a go at this starter quiz. I'll go through the answers in a minute. So, did you get steel, nickel, iron and cobalt? Opposite magnetic poles attract is true. All magnets have a magnetic field is true. Similar magnetic poles attract is false. That means north, north and south and south. They repel. Weaker magnets have magnetic field lines that are close together. No, it's stronger magnetic fields. Magnetic field lines are from north to south, not south to north. The magnetic field is stronger close to the poles and weaker further away. It's true. And finally, the Earth's North Pole is actually the Earth's magnetic South Pole is also true because the North Pole of your compass will point to the South. So it does point to geographical North, which is actually the South Pole. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to state three uses of electromagnets. Describe how a relay and electrode bell work. Explain how a relay an electric bell work. So that is using the science to explain it rather than just describing what happens. So the most common use of an electromagnet is to pick up magnetic materials. For instance, at a scrapyard, because most uh, metals in cars and things have iron or steel in them. I love that short video. The next one is a relay. So what is a relay and how does it work? What a relay does is it switches a circuit with a high voltage using a low voltage circuit where there's no electrical contact. So let's first of all see how it works. So first of all, on this side, we have our low voltage circuit. So this will be a low voltage, you have a switch here, and you have this as an electromagnet. This, this is a high voltage circuit, which for instance might control a lift motor. Now, it would be quite dangerous touching this switch in case something goes wrong. So we're going to make that circuit work using this circuit here. So what you first do is you close the switch and that allows current to flow through the low voltage circuit. And that current flows through this coil of wire here, which is wrapped around iron, so that turns it into an electromagnet. And then this is an iron lever, which is pivoted in the middle, and that attracts the iron, which then closes this switch here, allowing a higher current to flow and lifting the motor. Close the switch on the low voltage circuit, a current flows, turning this solenoid into an electromagnet, which attracts the iron armature, which closes the switch here, and a high current flows lifting the motor. And you can see this picture here, exactly the same idea. The low voltage switch closing that armature and the high voltage contacts going and working the motor. So watch this quick video of an actual relay working. So I've got two different circuits. I've got this circuit, which is the high voltage. And you can see here, I've got a switch because at the moment the contact for this high voltage is not working. If I now close that switch manually, you can see this high voltage of 11 volts lights the bulb. What I want to do is I want to actually control this circuit, not with my fingers, or a, but using a completely separate circuit here. So here I've got an electromagnet, and you can see it's a coil of wire, which is a solenoid with an iron core in the middle, making it 7,000 times stronger, and that makes it into an electromagnet. And because this is made out of iron, if I connect this circuit with the battery here to six volts, a low current will flow through here, but this will turn to electromagnet and should attract this iron and allow that to close. So connecting my low voltage and you can see my high voltage works. So if I remove the current in this electromagnet, the electromagnet goes off and that armature opens again. That is a way of controlling a high voltage circuit using a low voltage circuit and that's called a relay. 
So next one you need to know is how an electric bell works. Now these are really old fashioned electric bells. You might still have one in your house. We've still got one, I had one when I was a kid. They're not electronic ones, they work mechanically. Quite often old fire alarms are also like this as well. So first we've got a battery here and a switch here. So let me show you what happens as you close the switch. You close the switch, current starts to flow and I'll show you the route it takes. It goes around that coil of solenoid there, around that coil of solenoid there, and it goes past a wire here and you've got a contact here which is closed and it goes back. Now that happens instantly, but I want to show you the circuit the current takes. Of course, when the current flows through these solenoids, it turns this into an electromagnet and then this is an iron armature and it attracts the iron armature, the bell rings and now you can see that the contact has opened and therefore the current stops. And because it's on a spring, when the current stops, these stop being electromagnets and it goes back. And of course the process happens again, current flows very fast through there, it attracts the bell, the contact opens and that happens hundreds of times a second and therefore you can hear it ringing. Have a quick look at this video I did of this demonstration kit which we have at school. So when I close the switch, current's gonna flow around here, it's gonna flow through those electromagnets and it's going to attract this armature here. And so that's an iron armature and that will hit the bell and ring the bell. And notice now, the contacts are now open. So if you ever look carefully, that contact there opens. And when that contact opens, the current then stops. So the current will stop and then this will spring back. And of course, it will make the electromagnet again and it will go backwards and forwards. And you might just be able to see some sparking here as that moves. So that is how an electric bell works. So there we have it, three different uses of electromagnets. First of all, picking up magnetic material, maybe in a scrapyard. Secondly, the solenoid controlling a high voltage circuit using a low voltage circuit with no electrical connection between them. And finally, the old fashioned electric bell. Secondly, are you able to describe how the relay and electric bell work? And then explaining it saying that the solenoids change into electromagnets and that the hinges are made out of iron or the armatures are made out of iron, which is a magnetic material, which would then attract it and close the switch. So now what to do is to have a go at the questions linked to this video to practice using this in exam questions.